now the first step is to restart steam so go to steam and then click on exit and then you can relaunch steam once again and then check if that does not work restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to install easy anti cheat now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and over here you can see install easy anti cheat option make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and you might not see anything so even if you don't see anything just make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then check and then launch the game if that does not work you can use this exe file to launch the game so installation folder you will see this launch underscore g o w d e you can just make a double click and the game will launch from here you can try this uh, let me close the game first now the next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder so again go to the game folder and then open this binaries x64 folder and over here you will see the game exe file so i think that's the only exe file yeah so make a right click on the game exe file and then you can you can just you don't have to make a right click just make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work then try to launch the game as an administrator so make a right click on the game exe file go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on okay and then make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so where is it yeah this one sorry so select the game exe file click on open and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then open binaries x64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security and then click on windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and open this binaries x64 select this exe file click on open then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select proper properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says 
perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game also update your windows to the latest version this is very important so go to settings and then go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart you can be restart you must after the installation restart update and restart and after the system restart launch the game and then check now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box then click on graphic settings and over here click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folders binary is x64 select the game exe file click on add it click on add once the game is added click on the game and then over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now launch the game and then check it. now the next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the current the latest one is not working in that case you can roll back to the previous version so you can select your graphic card your operating system then click on find and it will take you to the next page on this page scroll down and then click on view more versions and over here you can see the latest one right now is 576.52 whichever is the latest if that does not work you can maybe try 576.28 or maybe 576.02 so this is the GeForce game read driver this is the older version so try installing 576.28 click on view download but when you go for installation select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this 
Now it's still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Over here, I in my case, I have only balanced. So if you see power saver option, you can select power saver. You can even go for balanced and you will see high performance as well. So in my case, I, I have only one option. So if you see power saver, select power saver, launch the game and then check. You can even try balanced or high performance and check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, if this is not working, you can remove this, empty it, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 file and run this exe file. And if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. You have to download both x86 and x64 and then run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once installed, you can close this. Now restart, you can be restarted just after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, or any kind of overclocking application, close it. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game and then launch the game. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings and turn off Nvidia overlay and close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect and extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller, the extra dongle connected, disconnected, disconnect any kind of third party application or software running, close everything except the game and the steam. Rest close everything. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS, install it. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. When you update the system BIOS, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.